Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online and today's video uh, is aimed a little bit at some of the newer players that might want to uh, learn more about uh, industry in EVE Online. Um, so I think it's pretty hard to find like newer videos about um, industry and since it is what uh, Koi Incorporated has been doing lately uh, I thought why not uh, give you guys a little bit of an update about how it's going for us and most of this is going to be aimed at like a new player or a very small corporation that uh, wants to find out more about uh, industry in EVE Online. So the first uh, thing that you'll want to do of course is try to figure out where you want to get your resources from. And uh, this is why I'm, I'm doing some mining right here. It's one of the options, although uh, you shouldn't feel obligated uh, to go the mining route. Um, so what I like about this is that it's a pretty constant stream uh, of, of resources and income that you get from mining. Um, it's also a pretty uh, low intensity, so you don't have to do a lot of effort to mine. That means that uh, at the same time I can uh, watch a movie, uh, read up on some dev blogs or make some preparations for another video or things like that. Uh, but it's really the fact that it's, it's decently low effort um, and uh, pretty constant uh, that I do enjoy mining myself. But you have uh, plenty of other options. Uh, the other way to get your resource, of course, would be to uh, do another activity in EVE Online that makes you money. And that will usually be more intense, uh, take a bit more effort. Uh, and after that, just buy your minerals uh, straight off the market. This can have two pretty big advantages. Uh, first of all, um, you're pretty limited in how much isk per hour you're going to make while mining. Uh, if you can do stuff like incursions, maybe some faction warfare, um, possibly there, there are other activities like, like wormhole diving uh, where you can get a lot more money for your hours spent in EVE Online. That's one big advantage. And the other one is since you're buying the minerals from the market, if you do your homework a little bit uh, and you go look for some cheap minerals in, in uh, regions that mine uh, a lot of, of a few uh, types of minerals, you can definitely pick up your resources below the going market rate. Uh, so those are two big advantages and it's of course up to you to decide whether or not you want to mine your own minerals which a lot of uh, people uh, consider a waste of time uh, or if you want to go like a more active route uh, for making money and then try and pick up your minerals on the cheap keep one thing in mind though um, if you do buy your minerals from the market that means you'll have to do some logistics because you'll have to buy them with buy orders try and get them on the cheap and then of course you'll have to group them all together in order to actually produce some stuff and uh, that is going to be the second thing that you'll want to decide on i've just finished uh, a full machina here getting six million out of that i think it's not that bad um, but after that you'll want to decide how do you want to do your industry and i think for for new players uh, and uh, for players that are in small corporations the idea of a boss uh, is something that that you can definitely go for we're running everything from a medium boss that doesn't cost that much money doesn't cost that much fuel and uh, the biggest advantage while i see a goon swarm gang coming in local here uh, the big advantage is actually that uh, you can um, yeah you can pull your efforts in one place uh, and then you can really feel like you're helping each other out i think that's definitely something that we enjoy uh, running our industry from a boss so we can mine here in the system we can actually mine for pyroxeris which give, gives us four minerals and in uh, providence not far from here we can actually get everything else that we need so we do like it um, but yeah your second step of course since you don't just want to mine but you actually want to make some money uh, doing some industries you'll probably want a boss uh, to, to run that stuff and what we have here is a pretty basic setup I think uh, so we have a reprocessing array uh, which will of course actually make our minerals then we have some uh, some uh, assembly arrays here an equipment assembly array we have a small ship assembly array down here we've got ammunition and drones as well uh, another thing that we've got is a research laboratory and then I also uh, put up a corp hangar array in case 
other activities would be done by the corporation let's say we, we do some exploration or we dive into a wormhole we could easily gather the loot in here and then sell it uh, at, at our pace um, and then here we have a ship maintenance array which is empty at the moment but the idea for that is actually to just have uh, like a couple fleet doctrine ships four or five of them so that we can all fly in the same thing go out there uh, get into trouble and have some fun uh, when everyone feels like uh, doing a little bit more um, intense stuff uh, in EVE Online uh, but for the industry parts um, I'll show you one thing that we do like uh, about all of this and that is the aim of course for making money with industry is to add value to the uh, to the effort that you actually make here and i'll show you that for us uh, which has been going pretty well considering uh, we're selling in Providence at the moment. So here um, in the reprocessing array, I'll stack everything. You can see that I have 12 and a half million in ores. And so your first added value, if I actually reprocess this, I go from 12 and a half million to 13.8 million. Now you can say, wow, you just made 1 million um, or 1.3 million. Is, is that really a lot? Well, it's almost 10% of the value of the ore that I get out of just reprocessing what we mine here it's a little bit of added value and then the other one that we're uh, using mostly at the moment and I actually think uh, it is really accessible for new players for small corporations is to go for ammunitions why uh, obviously munitions are actually used up and so they will always be at a pretty steady demand something like a ship could go out of meta and not be used by the alliance that you're trying to sell to anymore or stuff like that and so for us here we've got the mjolnir cruise missile Mjolnir and mjolnir heavy missiles um, they have the needed damage type that is perfect against uh, like the sasha rats which are uh, like uh, the ones that are in Providence. And so uh, we do focus a lot on creating Mjolnir uh, ammunition. So let's maybe get a quick run here. My usual is around 200 runs. Uh, that doesn't take too long, around one day, and then we can actually go out and sell them in Providence space. And here is the second added value. You already saw that I made around 10% reprocessing uh, into the minerals here. Uh, the cost is 5.7 million in minerals, estimated cost on average. The output is actually 6.4 6.5 million almost so from 5.7 to 6.5 again adding a bit over 10 percent i think uh, just to produce these minerals and then of course you have the added advantage that uh, if you can find the right market for the goods that you produce uh, for us for instance selling these uh, mjolnir cruise missiles in providence we get an, uh, an even higher premium than the average price because we can actually sell them for more than the average going rate and thus we make even more money uh, by by doing industry here so that is that is one aspect you know um, decide how you actually want to get your resources uh, if you want to get started with this you know mining I personally do like it, but I fully understand that it's not for everyone. And then try to add value to the the, uh, the base resources that uh, you have. And the first one is, of course, reprocessing. If you do mining, adds a little bit. And then next up, deciding uh, the 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 materials that you actually want to produce and sell try and find that which gives you the best margin and which you can sell at a premium and a good way to get started as i said is just to go for some munitions because those are at steady demand and they are used up uh, compared to like uh, the more expensive stuff people don't like to lose that and thus you have a much trickier market which is actually perfect because the blueprints for uh, things like munitions let me maybe quickly go back here to the munitions assembly array they don't cost that much as you can see here they're worth just a few million uh, you can easily pick those up and risk them fully research them it's it's really not a big deal so munitions to get started i think it's a good idea uh, the thing the second thing is if you did go for a boss you will actually want to get as much out of the fuel as you can and um that is why we have this uh, this research laboratory right here because we do want to uh, use uh, the time uh, that we have here researching new blueprints uh, as much as possible so that we can produce things um, at a lower uh, mineral cost and for with uh, better time efficiency and then uh, just uh, yeah keep going like that so this is why you saw right here in the industry tab uh, you can actually deliver stuff from other 
people in your corporation as well so i can now deliver the industry jobs that cedar bandit has done he's been making some station containers to sell some light missile launchers and some more munitions here some inferno apparently those sell pretty well as well and then i have two research jobs that are done here which uh, for a maximum of 10 for me is pretty damn good and so um you don't have to focus on well i i need to have the very best blueprints we tend to go for cheap blueprints um and then just uh, research them making sure that all our slots are actually filled all the time so here for instance this one is completely done so i can just drag this one into the drone assembly array we're ready to make these uh, these e-war uh, drones they're really not great but we've got them available if ccp ever decides uh, to change the meta on them why not have them ready and so here for instance for uh, for these drones we still need to do time research which i'll put up to 10 takes just four days get started nine of, out of tens 10 jobs are ready and then here let's see if the heavy shield that one is actually fully researched so i'll put them in the drone assembly array once again ready to be produced light armor we can get 10 runs of that a bit over a day and now i'm at a 10 out of 10. now i'm i'm pretty um I, I keep a close eye on this i make sure that uh, i do check my the jobs every day make sure that i have 10 research jobs running every day uh, so that i get the most out of the fuel the rest of the corporation is is really not that strict into this uh, but the good thing is of course if everyone does it we can have 20 i think at the moment with the, with the other skill points we can have like 20 25 blueprints researching at the moment and so from time to time you know at the moment we still have a few left but i think in a few weeks i'll go out there look for some new blueprints to buy uh, and then yeah we can just decide what we want to make and uh, depending on how well the market goes we can keep going that intensify that and things like that um, but a boss industry for a small gang uh, or even solo players i do think it's fun if you can enjoy this type of gameplay uh, you can definitely make money um, but it's also true that you need to do some logistics you need, need to check out the market it, it takes some effort of course just like everything in eve online um, but the rewards for that they're pretty good you know we're definitely having fun one thing i should say uh, if if you're going with a boss like this and you're just allowing everyone to uh, do all of the research and and to get access to everything you need a certain level of trust in your corporation and this is a big part as well why uh, in um in Co Incorporated, it's only people that we know in real life. It adds to that trust. And so at the moment, it's it's a lot of fun for us to just go out there and mine, put everything in the reprocessing array. Then at the moment, we're doing a lot in, in munitions. So you can see we have quite a few resources ready to make more munitions for the market. Um, but we are also selling our, uh, our minerals as well, straight to the market, because we're out mining our production capability by quite a bit at the moment. And so that's another revenue stream that we're using as well um, and everything just goes straight into our corporation wallet which then allows us to uh, buy some ships to have fun with or what we are focused most on at the moment is to buy all the pi stuff that we will need for a large uh, citadel windows come out that's really been our focus lately uh, which is why you don't see that much uh, active pvp content or, or stuff uh, from me at the moment we're just building up and if you're looking to do uh, production um, on, on as, a, as a small player or as uh, a small corporation, I would say this is probably the most accessible way to do it and you can always grow from there. Uh, if you're really into it, you, you mine a lot, you have a lot of money and resources that are made from this, you can start building ships, you can start going up to battleships, which uh, blueprint costs more than a billion, so keep that in mind, but you can definitely scale that up uh, in value and uh, hopefully uh, keep the margins going and make a bigger profit out of that one question that always comes back for this type of stuff when i make a video about industry is well what about tech 2 and tech 3 uh, production and research and honestly um i'll just i'll straight up say it in my opinion it is not a good idea to go after those in a small corporation or as a solo player. I'm not saying that it can't be done. Uh, you could just add a design laboratory and then 
uh, from your Blueprint Originals, you can make copies and then you can try and invent Take 2. Uh, but to produce stuff in Take 2, you need access to Moon Minerals. And that is something that a small corporation just cannot do. It's just going to add a lot of logistics. And for me personally, I'm, I'm, I get the feeling that it's just not worth the effort uh, in a small corporation or, or as a solo player to go after Take 2 production. And with the Take 3 production, um, you actually need to go out there and basically rat in order to uh, get the blueprint copies you don't have blueprint original basis for tech tree production and so as a small corporation you're always going to jump uh, jump into or, or fall into the wall of production volumes uh, as a small corporation you're just never gonna get the necessary resources to really make a lot of tech tree ships for instance to make it worth your time while uh, this tech one production is, is almost infinitely scalable uh, you can just uh, go for bigger stuff go for more volume and keep the research flowing um, depending on how much you can mine or how much income you have and uh, how many minerals you can bring in and things like that uh, whereas take two and take three i would say if you really if you're that much into industry then you have to consider joining a larger group creating a larger group joining an Elsic Alliance or something like that, get access to those moon minerals, get access to, to stronger, bigger logistics than what you can manage uh, solo or in a very small group. But it, it is definitely doable uh, for take one, I think, to make some money, to have fun, to enjoy the game. Um, and uh, yeah, this is basically how we do industry in EVE Online at the moment. One small boss for a five-man corporation. We do a lot of mining ourselves and then we try to uh, sell for a profit and create stuff at a profit as much as possible. So I hope that this can help new players that want to get into industry, that need some tips on industry. Uh, all of this is not that expensive, a medium boss. It's quite doable uh, to, to get uh, all of this together to, to keep fueling this and then just uh, yeah, to get started on it. Um, another thing that I should maybe mention, if you if you want to start out with it and you have zero capital to go for a boss right away, you can do all of this from a station as well. It's just going to cost you more money. Uh, because there are important aspects of industry that I have not really covered here, such as the index, the more is being produced in one system, um, the, the, the more cost you actually get to, uh, to put up a job. And so here, for instance, we are in a system with no stations and that definitely, I think, puts a limit on how much people produce here because there is a little bit of a risk to, uh, to having a boss someone could war deck us and then we'll have to evacuate um, and that would put a little bit of a, a damper on our profits uh, on things that we're doing at the moment but you know we're fully ready uh, to do that and so it's not like it would be a problem uh, if we would get war deck we're fully prepared for that so i think i think it's pretty cool uh, it's something that you can definitely work your way up uh, into uh, to a small or a medium boss do some industry there and find out if that's actually uh, something that you enjoy enough and yeah the money that you make from that is uh, the uh, the margins that you get from like reprocessing from producing the stuff and of course finding the right stuff to produce for the market you're trying to supply um, so there you go guys uh, i hope that this can help new players uh, get started in industry uh, that's it for this video and i'll see you guys next time